Hi, uh, my name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. I'm so excited to be telling you about a book today that was extremely powerful, extremely important, and will help me to be the person that I strive to be. It was one of those times where I was reading a book and I felt like it was written for me. If that's ever been the case for you, if you've ever had a book that you read and like, oh my gosh, this book was written for me. It's like the author knew what I needed and like this book is for me or the story is for me. If that's ever happened to you, let me know down in the comments below a book that you felt that way while reading it and then I'm gonna tell you about the book that made me feel that way. Are you ready? Let's go. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you are new to my channel, thank you. I hope that you are finding what you're looking for. I love talking about books, talking about reading aloud, talking about the things that I do in my fifth grade classroom. If you're new and you like what you hear in this video today, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. If you click the bell, you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video. Today we are talking about Frederick Joseph's The Black Friend on being a better white person. Uh, it's, this book is just so, it's just so powerful and it's amazing. And uh, it just felt like Frederick was talking to me uh, the entire time and uh, asking me to, to be a better white person and giving me real ways that I can, I can do that. Uh, it is the story, it's a lot of the story of his life as growing up a, a black boy and then a black man in this country of the United States. And he does this amazing thing where he weaves all of these lessons into through the stories of his life. And it's just so fascinating. I don't know how he did it, uh, but he likes, you know, you hear all these stories of him as a kid and growing up. And then like throughout the chapters, he weaves in these conversations with people, like these really amazing humans, including like Angie Thomas from The Hate You Give. Uh, he talks to her in this book, Jamel Hill. Uh, we know her originally from ESPN until she uh, just wasn't going to like live under the ESPN umbrella of not being able to be a person that cares about the world. So she left and now she's doing uh, amazing work in other places. But wow, Frederick. Wow. Um, I guess uh, I don't really know how to talk about this book. So I felt like for 200 plus pages, Frederick was uh, talking to me. So I guess that I uh, will spend a little bit of time talking to Frederick. Uh, Frederick, thank you for writing this book. Thank you for helping me to uh, be a better white person. Um, I feel that I could do better. Um, I feel like I am trying, but I don't know. Just, like, I made a lot of the mistakes that you talk about in this book. I've done a lot of the things that um, white people have done probably forever that are not okay and uh, I appreciate you helping me to see how I can be better. I appreciate you writing a book that allows people like me and, and our students to see the issues that are facing um, black people in this country and in this world and uh, to see how we can, can be an accomplice instead of an ally. Uh, the way that you ended this book, I mean I just finished it right before I started talking and that last chapter was heavy, man. Uh, wow. Um, and then what you said about being an accomplice and how um, th how that's different than being an ally and how the action behind that is something that I need to do and I need to do a better job. I need to continue to learn and grow. And um, just thank you for pointing me in the right direction, Frederick. Uh, this book is really, really going to do some, some things that are going to help the world be better. I, uh, I know that you talked in this book about how you were worried that, um, like, what's the point? Or people have told you, what's the point? Why even write this book? Um, and I get that. I don't get that, but I can, I guess, kind of see that um, being a white person. Um, I know that we haven't been very good listeners as a whole, and we haven't done the work that needs to be done, and um, we put ourselves in this awful situation with the, our actions and um, it's, it's a really good book Frederick uh, you had me laughing you had me crying you had me thinking uh, when you talked about uh, like I think it was very be very beginning of the book about how like people say you don't like white people I can't remember what it was but you're saying you've been to John Mayer concerts and hockey games uh, and how those are some of the whitest things and you talk about 98 degrees the band um, but just the stories that you shared and the life that you've lived, uh, man, 
I appreciate you being willing to share those things. That last story that you told about um, the situation in the mall and the choices you made and, and that uh, man who stepped in. Um, <sighs> thank you for this book. Thank you, Frederick. Uh, I appreciate it. If there's anything that I can do uh, to help get this book into the hands of other people, I will do it. Uh, let me know if you ever need anything. Uh, you've given me far more than I could ever give you. Now talking to everyone that is, anyone that is still watching this video, uh, you're gonna wanna read this book. Um, this, this might even be like the book that you're looking for. Maybe these are some conversations that aren't happening in, happening in your community. Maybe these are some things that uh, change that you'd like to see. Maybe people don't know how to make that change. Um, and there's been a lot of books floating around all summer that are amazing and wonderful. And um, this might be a really good one to start with. Like this might be a really good one to, to read with some other white people uh, and to find some ways to become the, the people that we want to be so that the world can be what it needs to be and not centered around us. Uh, yeah, I'm not usually at a loss for words in these book talks, but probably should have waited more than like three minutes before finishing, after finishing this last chapter before hitting record, but you need to read this book. It is The Black Friend on Being a Better White Person by Frederick Joseph. Read it. You won't regret it.